Hi guys, it's Robert. So for today's DIY, I wanna show you how to make your own custom set of Russian nesting dolls, but with a little bit of an updated twist. And if you like the look of today's project, I wanna invite you to subscribe to my own channel for more great DIYs by following the link in the video description below. Now Russian nesting dolls or matryoshkas have been around since the 1890s, and if you're not familiar, they're wooden dolls, they're painted on the outside, hollow on the inside, and they open like boxes. So when you open the first one, what you'll find are a series of dolls in descending size until you get down to the teeny tiny solid baby doll. Traditional matryoshka dolls can be really elaborately painted and are so beautiful. But what I want to show you how to do today is to paint a blank set with chalkboard paint, allowing you to draw, erase, and redesign your dolls as many times as you'd like. Now a small set of three like I'm using today is relatively inexpensive, and I'll provide sources and links for you in the video description below. The first thing you'll want to do with your blank set is sand the exterior with a fine grain sandpaper. This is going to help the paint adhere to them. Next, we're gonna take some painter's tape and tape off the connecting elements. The tops and the bottoms of the dolls fit together really snugly, and we don't want any paint to get in there to affect how they open and close. Chalkboard paint is now available in a wide range of colors in your local craft store, and I'm gonna be working with this beautiful blue color. But what I've decided to do is to create each doll in a slightly different shade, creating an ombre effect. So I'm going to take three cups, pour a little bit of paint into each. The first cup will be for the largest doll. I'm gonna paint that the full blue. The second one is going to be for the middle doll. I'm gonna add a little bit of white acrylic paint to the chalkboard paint. Mix it together to create a slightly lighter shade. And then for the smallest doll, I'm gonna add even more white paint in to create the lightest shade of all. I'm going to begin by painting with a sponge brush in vertical strokes. You wanna paint the entire exterior in this fashion and then set them aside for an hour to dry. Then for your second coat of paint, you wanna paint them in horizontal strokes. This is gonna create a surface that makes it easier to draw on with the chalk. Once your second coat of paint is dry, check them over to see if you think it needs a third coat. Once your paint is dry, we now wanna do what is called seasoning the chalkboard paint. You're going to take a standard stick of white chalk, turn it on its side, and color all over the exterior, and then wipe it off with a soft cloth. This is gonna make it easier to draw and erase later on. Now comes the fun part. We're going to decorate the exterior of the dolls. Now you can do this with a standard stick chalk, or they also have chalk pencils that are available in your art supply store. Now I do have to tell you with the chalk pencils, the lighter shades erase beautifully, but the darker shades may require a damp cloth to remove the chalk. Now you can decorate your dolls to look like traditional matryoshka, or you could even draw them to look like your family, your friends, even your pets. But if you don't like how it turns out, you just erase it and start again. I do hope you'll give this project a try. Thank you so much for watching, and join me next time for another great DIY.